Hi, today we're gonna have a very nice full body workout. We're gonna work on stretching, mobility, and strength in our lower body, so our glutes, our calves, our hamstrings, our quads, our lower back, our core, our arms, triceps, chest, shoulders, our trapeziums, our forearms, our hands. Uh, we're doing a very good full body workout. Has a lot of strength, mobility, and flexibility included. I hope you like it. Welcome to another of these full body workouts. I'm really hyped up for this one. I was really excited to start this workout. For our, for our first exercise, we're gonna do a deep squat stretch. We're gonna hold this for 60 seconds. You can hold like this in the middle, pushing your knees with your elbows, or you can place one hand on the ground. And then with your other hand, you can push one of the sides as I am doing on the video right now. For the next exercise, we have a very hard mobility exercise. I like to call these knee reaches. So for me, these are very hard. You go into a deep squat position and then try to bring your knee touching the ground in the same line as your foot. I take this very slowly. And if I am having a hard time into reaching my knee, I will also place my hands on the ground. I do not have to do this with my hands up Another good way to regress this is if you have a cushion or another mat that you can fold into a roll, you can put it in front of your knee. That way you can make the point you are going or aiming a little higher and it's gonna be easier because it's gonna be less range of motion. To do this next exercise, I like to call it a kneeling instep stretch. You're gonna go into a kneeling position with your insteps on the ground, so your toes are facing up. And what you're gonna do is place your hands on the ground and try to lift your knees while you're, you are sitting down on your heels. There are various levels for this. I like to start with my hands on the ground and then going up and down, seeing if I could find a balance. And when I do find balance, I like to get my hands off the ground and try to stay there for as long as I can. Sometimes it gets a little too rough and I go down, maybe rest for one, two seconds, reconfigure my, my sitting down and then get back into a position. We're doing 60 seconds of this stretch. really good all right we finished with this i'm gonna go quickly into a child's pose because before we get into our next exercise which is gonna be quadruped hovers for this we're gonna go on all fours placing our shoulders on top of our hands and then lifting our knees to be just on our toes and on our palms here what i like to do is shift my weight forward and backward that way i'm playing between having more strength on my shoulders and my upper body or my quadriceps and my lower body. Another thing I like to play with, while keeping my core engaged, I'll try to raise one of my limbs. So maybe it can be a foot and a hand, and I'm gonna be playing between one foot and one hand that I raise, trying to keep my balance, or also you can just raise one foot or one hand at a time. 
try this challenge is going to be really hard. For me, is every time I do it, it's really hard. I like to do it every time I do this quadruped horse. For the next exercise, we're going to do some lunge twists. Here, you're going to step on all fours and then you're going to replace your right hand with your right foot going to a lunge. You're going to raise that back knee and then your right arm is going to go all the way up, twisting your body and then back through the arm and then all the way up. This is going to be a twist and a lunge. Here, what you'd like to have is your knee over your heel your back knee is raised and you are on your toes. job once you're finished with this side we're gonna go back into quadruped hover then place your knees on the ground maybe take a second on child's pose and then come back to the left side replacing that left hand with your left foot raising that right knee stepping on your toe make sure your left knee is on top of your left heel and then raise that left arm all the way up looking into the sky twisting the body embracing the core and then on your way down, you're going to go through. Great job, I bet you're feeling as good as me. Take a second here in child's pose, relax. Our next stretch is gonna be a deep child pose stretch. For this one, you're gonna bring your hands forward. So you're gonna reach a little bit forward, letting your hip get over your knees. So in line with your knees, you're gonna place your hands, but you're gonna place only your fingertips. And then you're gonna lower your chest, trying to bring your chest to the ground, opening that upper back that we usually slouch when we are having a lot of time sitting down or looking at our phones. job relax we're gonna step on our backs having our flat back on the floor we're gonna step into some dead bugs recently this has been my favorite core exercise when I started doing it the first time it was really hard and now what I encourage you if you've been doing this for a while or you feel like your core is really strong grab some weights and maybe strap them on your heels or have them on your hands try to do this you're gonna step on your back and then you're gonna stretch one leg while you stretch the other arm. So opposite arm, opposite leg. When you do the motion, try not to arch your lower back. So focus yourself on pressing that lower back strong on the ground.
amazing job. Hope you like this as much as I did. For the next exercise, we're gonna go into quadruped again, and we're gonna do some random crawling. So here, you wanna keep your hips low and active, as active as you can. Move left to right, forward and backward, sideways. You can do whatever you feel like doing. If you feel like you wanna walk forward and backward or just hold the quadruped hold again, that's entirely okay and up to you. If you wanna go a little bit crazy, feel free to do so right now. Just go forward, backward, sideways, add some jumps, try to get as dynamic as you can. amazing work if you've reached this time in the video leave a like man like leave a like for yourself for doing all this workout for the last exercise we're doing my favorite leg workout in the world it's gonna be the horse stance but i'm gonna do the active variation here in this you want to lower your hips all the way to knee level having a wide stance twice shoulder width apart what you're gonna do is you're gonna look to one side and from your hands on your hips, you're gonna stretch one hand, circulate across your body, and then bring it back to your hip. Then doing the same motion with your other hand, circling across the body, and then back to center. Try to have a swinging motion left to right as you do this, and maybe connect your breath. At least that's what I try to do when I do this active stance. Great job, this was the whole workout, it was around 10 minutes, full body exercise, leave a like if you enjoyed this, comment which one was your favorite exercise and subscribe if you want to see more content like this one.